and welcome back to the crew guys so as you can see we're about to select our cars now the colors have changed since the last video and that's because I actually had a crash and needed to restart the game to restart the recording so first up really I don't know what we would probably go with well, Corvette, Mustang uh, we'll go with the Challenger I like a nice shade of blue There are car dealers like this all across the country. Each dealer has a different stock of cars, so you might want to swing by each and take a look. There are 510 tuners all over the country who specialize in different car modifications. As this operation progresses, you'll need to access these tuners. But for now, let's get you a street ride. Street spec cars are lightly modified rides, built for street racing and tuned for the open road. Most common 510 ride for a reason. Street spec should be your first choice for cross-country road trips. Alright, so... Okay, it's a driving test, it's locked. So let's just take a quick look at the map here. So, we've got all different events, and as you can see I've unlocked a bit, uh, just in this little bit of square. Now, this is what I've done within the first hour and a half of gameplay that unfortunately didn't record correctly, and I had the broken ABI. So we'll just move over past the Rockies, and take a further look west. So yeah, you can drive to Las Vegas and over to Los Angeles. There doesn't seem to be anything further up there. Okay, and yes to LA, wonderful. So, they do have some raceways there. There's Laguna Seca, which is wonderful. I couldn't see Willow Springs there, but that's no big deal. But it gives you a rough idea on how large the map actually is. So we can go all the way up and around the Gulf of Mexico. And I believe all the way around to Miami. So all of this is completely free roaming as well. All the way up the east to west coast. A lot of people have actually mentioned as well that apparently it takes about 45 minutes to drive from east There's to west coast. Across town. I'll send the location to your phone. Call me when you're done. Okay, let's go tune this bad boy up. Uh, that's not a road. Oh well, there should be some way out of there, just up here. Uh, wet grass, out of the way. Oh god, that made the car rather dirty. Jeez, I've only just got it and I've scratched it to hell. Oh, let's get him. That looks like another player character. So as I did mention, this is an MMO. Nah, we'll just make our way over to the tuner shop. I'm interested in seeing the level of customization and uh, what can actually be bought and whether you can paint the car or... Uh, more damage yet again. The damage model seems pretty decent. Some pretty deep gouges in the car there. Alright. And here we are. Uh, what? Get out of the way, you idiot. Ah, oh, damn vices. It's always the idiot in the skyline. Okay, Alex. 
Let's get your ride fitted for street spec. Every car you buy at a car dealer is a full stock ride, ready to improve at a tuner. There is one tuner per region, and you can buy a different spec starter kit from each of them. These kits transform your vehicle for different terrain types. After fitting a spec starter kit, you can buy car parts that are automatically installed on your vehicle. Installing mechanical car parts increases your vehicle's car level. The higher the car level, the better it performs. Okay, and... oh, we can look at our collection. A kit car. Okay. That seems interesting. I've heard a little bit about that. Apparently you need to drive over the map. And... Actually look for those parts. Alright, so we'll just select level 1 straight. Yep. There we go. Looking good. Let's hit the streets. Oh, we can tune. Let's take a look. So we've got exhaust. No. ECU, fuel injection, the air system, gearbox, motor core, tires, brakes, suspension, differential, and weight reduction. Oh, we can change the color of the car. So that's the official colors. Wonderful. So you've got the official, you've got a whole bunch of metallic here as well. That's actually a really good colour list. Anodized paint jobs? Oh, these always look awesome. I always love the look of these. And iridescent or pearlescent. But... Oh, I'm so tempted to get that colour. It's a bit expensive though. And we're back to official. No, I preferred the blue it came in to be honest. Okay, so there's stickers as well. Oh, they appear on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah, token flames. It wouldn't be a modding game without flame decals or tribals for that matter it looks. Okay, we can't put them... Ah, yes. It wouldn't be a challenger without racing stripes. Now well, we've got the offset. And the bonnet wrap. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. We can only go as far as there. Oh. I reckon the stock one anyway, because that's actually how it comes when you've got the special edition. Oh, you can change the interior as well. What does that do? That changed the stitching. Oh, and it also changes, like, the interior colouring as well. Oh, that looks nice and blue. It'll suit the outside. Oh, okay, different bumpers as well so you can update the headlights looks like the fog lamps and the front spoiler actually changes with that as well and not too bad but I prefer the stock okay so doesn't really change too much from what I'm seeing besides either the older edition or the newer edition of the tail lights. I think the bottom of the rear spoiler slightly changes from what I can see. And the placement of the exhaust system, so we'll just leave that. 
nothing for front or rear fenders. No skirts. Oh, I've got some custom factory rims here as well, which is pretty awesome. Oh, we got to go with the black fives. I think they were the Viper rims. Ah, uh, only one offering for the rear wing. Nah. And the hood. Oh, here we go. So we got a bunch of carbon hoods as well. Spoilers. Shaker bonnets. We'll go with that one, I reckon. Yeah. Alright. Let's hit the road. I'm sending you now. I want to see how you handle yourself. Oh, we've got nitro now. Okay. How far do we need to drive? We... Oh. Okay. Round the block to the driving test. Alright, so... Just set a waypoint. I really don't mind the way that they've done the waypoints in this game, actually. Oh, hey buddy. You know, it's a lot nicer having, like, the floating line. Are you trying to give me the slip? It won't work. Back off! I'm coming! Jeez, so needy. But as I was saying, it's just really nice to have the uh, line instead of, like, a random arrow. So we need to beat her in a race. You've been inside for a long time. Let's see if you remember how to do this. It's on. You know the deal. Here's the fine print. Ugh. We're going okay. after Coburn first, Shiv second. Anyone else I arrest on the way is a bonus. I'm not helping you take down the whole 510s. I'm interested in dirty cops and murderers, and that's it. Speaking uh, of murderers, we're ten. putting Shiv away for life. Uh, you kill him, you're back in that cell. Oh, us. You got a hard on for Coburn, I get that, but why do you need me to get it? Coburn's weakness is the 510s. He's got half the FBI in his pocket. If I came at him with a regular investigation, he'd see it with his eyes closed. Oh, but if I get an inside eye on Shiv's operation, we get them both. You've got the skills and motivation to see this. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe I missed him. <laughs> The road's a bit wider than I thought. We need somewhere safe, somewhere your crew can work to support you. My crew? Oh, your crew. okay. This is going to be interesting. Stands behind him. Uh, excuse me, buddy. Uh, uh, can't believe. Uh, another bus. Really? Oh, okay, so... Um... Oh, we'll just equip that, I guess. So... I guess that's the upgrade system, where you get... Like, different levels of parts, and... Okay, you pass. In here. 
they I have like a like different score or something maybe. Haven't really looked into it too much to be honest. Like it or not, this is home for the foreseeable. Here, I've been laying out the basic intel so far. The 510 Motor Club. What started as an illegal street racing club has over the last five years developed into a sophisticated gang network with chapters in every state. Boosted cars go southwest. Contraband comes back northeast. In short, if you can fit it into a road vehicle, the 510s are smuggling it. Our two targets, FBI Special Agent Bill Coburn. We know he's fallen from grace, we just need the proof. And Dennis Jefferson, AKA Shit. Together, they've transformed the 510s. Coburn provides introductions and protection from law enforcement, while Shiv does the wet work. The 510s denote rank with tattoos. Shiv's the king, the V8. Infiltrate the 510 Motor Club. Earn your ink and climb its hierarchy. You find the evidence I need to put Coburn away, and we'll take Shiv down with him. You'll need a pledge from a chapter head to get your first 510 tattoo. Make your rep on the local circuit, get on that ladder, and don't stop until you reach Shiv. I'm set up in here where you can manage your perks, upgrades for your cars and abilities. The more you progress, the more perks you can equip. Here's your collection board. You'll find one like it in every dealer and tuner. The board lets you manage your cars and their specs. It also gives you quick access to all the dealers and tuners in the world. In it's your essential HQ to workshop, install the best you parts, you have parts to you've bought your at a car level as well as those you've won by You can also missions. customize your ride with paints, decals, and cosmetic parts. Any damage you sustain can also be repaired in the workshop. Wow. Um, holy audio issue. Alright, so we've got our collection. We can't access it, but let's take a look at perks. So, it's that 1.0% increase to, yeah, chance of extra perk points. Okay, so the more points you put in, the more chance. Okay. More XP, increased co-op bonus. We'll, we'll go with double down and see if we can get extra perk points. That might be the easiest route. Alright, we'll just check on progression. Oh, it's just cutscenes, okay. Oh, okay. Space for the kit car. Need to find 20 parts. Okay. 